What's up YouTube, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be talking about how to minimize knee pain. And this video was suggested by John Luong, so thank you so much for the suggestion. Biomechanics is the fancy word for how your body moves. And how you jump and how you land are going to impact how your knees will feel. Because even if you take medication, if you're icing and if you're strengthening, you do all those things but you're still performing the movement that is causing the pain, then the pain will still be there. One common mistake that I see when people jump is that they jump only from their toes, this is what I call the Michael Jackson jump. So they're jumping from here, and you see, as you can see, my center of gravity has shifted forward, and it's already putting a lot of pressure on my knees, as well, especially the patella tendon. The proper way to jump is to jump with my glutes back. Not only will you jump higher this way, but you'll have less pain. When you shift your hips back, you're using the posterior chain, your hamstrings, glute, and your lower back. When you're jumping forward, you're mainly using your quads and your shins and a little bit of calves. And this is how you develop the tendonitis in front. When you're landing, it's very important to land softly and into a squat. Oftentimes, people will land stiff-legged. So as you can see, the shock gets absorbed by my joints or maybe landing only on one leg. So you should be definitely landing on two to distribute the force evenly the third way that people land incorrectly is that they don't land softly. So you want to make sure you land softly into a squat. So from the front, it looks like this. From the side, I'm sticking my glutes back, so I'm going to jump, land. And when I'm landing, you notice that I'm absorbing the shock by shifting my hips back, and that allows my muscles to absorb the shock instead of my joints. Now that we've talked about how to have better mechanics for jumping and landing, we're also going to talk about improving your mobility in your quadricep area. These are the most common muscles that are causing knee pain. So it's associated also with the IT band and the patella tendon. The quadricep muscle is made up of four areas, one, two, three, four. And oftentimes, because we're always moving forward and we're jumping, that these become overactive and they become tight. And whenever your muscles are tight, it restricts movement. And mobility is very important for your joints to be able to move freely without restriction. If your joints are restricted, then they're going to experience a greater amount of force than they're supposed to. Another area that becomes tight is also the IT band. So the IT band inserts from the hip into the knee. And when this area becomes tight, it also restricts movement of your kneecap and your knee joint. So we're going to talk about a couple of exercises you can do to help release some of the, the tightness in that area. If you haven't done so already, I highly recommend purchasing a foam roller. This is also called the poor man's massage. And this will help increase your mobility and reduce tightness in your muscles. There are four areas in the quadricep that you should be rolling out. The first area is placing the foam roller in front above the kneecap. And that will help nail the vastus intermedius, which is this area here, this quadricep muscle here. The second area is you turn your thigh 45 degrees and you're working on the vastus lateralis here. The third area is the inside quad. So you're gonna rotate the other way and roll out this area, and this is the vastus medialis. The fourth area is the IT band, and you're gonna go perpendicular to the foam roller and to roll out this area. There are two types of foam rolling that I like to do. One is just placing all my weight and making sure I find a sore spot and I sit on there for about 20, 30 seconds, and I kind of progress up an inch. Then I finish off with some full rolling where I'm rolling up and down throughout the entire muscle, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I like to start my foam rolling just above the knee. So I put as much body weight as I can, I rest on my elbows, and I rest on each section for about 20 seconds. Especially if I find a sore spot, then I'll rest on it for a little bit longer. Once I've done this for 20 seconds, I'll move up an inch, do this for 20 seconds, and then move up another inch, and then 20 seconds, and so on, until I've worked all the way to the top, near my groin area. Then once I've paused on each section of my quadricep muscle, then I'm going to roll up and down about 10 to 15 times to kind of finish it out. The next section is turning 45 degrees. I start above the kneecap, rest about 20 seconds, then I roll up an inch, 20 seconds, roll up another inch, 20 seconds, and so on until I've reached my hip joint. Then I go up and down 
10 times. Did I do the exact same thing on my IT band? Now I turn completely on my side. 20 minutes, 20 seconds, roll up an inch, 20 seconds, roll up an inch, 20 seconds, and so on until I've reached my hip joint. And then I go up and down. Last section is the vastus medialis. I'm gonna show you on my other leg so you can see. You just have to turn on the inside of your leg and put all your weight on it. Same concept, 20 seconds on one area, roll up an inch, 20 seconds, roll up 20 seconds, and so on. And then you roll back and forth once you're finishing your rounds. Then you repeat the process on the other leg. The reason why I like to rest my body weight on one area instead of just rolling up and down, which is what most people do only, is you get a deeper sense of release of tension in the muscle. Now that we've talked about the biomechanics and improving your mobility, now we're going to talk about the flexibility. Static stretching is one of the most overlooked parts of recovery and also injury prevention. Most people after they play a sport or lift weights, they go home because they just don't want to put in the effort to stretch and they complain about their body aches and the muscles getting tighter. So it's very important to stretch down after you play. And I'm going to show you a few stretches that will help relieve some of the tension in your thighs, which are contributing to a lot of the knee pain. The first one is the quad stretch. Most people just hold it here, but it's important to get full stretch of the entire quadricep muscle and go as deep as possible. So first I'm going to start with my knee on the ground, a couple feet away from something that I can hold on to. Then I grab my ankle and I try to touch my heel to my butt. If I can do that, great. Then you should be leaning forward. As you can see, as you lean forward, you feel a deeper stretch. You want to hold the stretch for about 30, 40 seconds and go as deep as possible. Second stretch is your hamstring and your lower back stretch. Sit on the ground, strain one leg, tuck in your other leg, grab your foot with both hands and try to touch your chest to your knee. If you cannot grab your foot, then grab your ankle and try to pull forward. You should feel a nice stretch in your hamstring of the straight leg and the opposite lower back and oblique area. And hold it for 30, 40 seconds. The next stretch is your hip stretch to stretch out the glute area. So you can strain one leg, pull your knee across as high as you can to the opposite shoulder. You should feel all around here in this area. And if you don't feel like this is deep enough, you can also try putting your leg on the platform, going across, and then stepping back and just dropping your weight and you should feel a release in this area. The last stretch is the hip flexor. Get into a front stance, bring your knee just above your toe, and I'm gonna drive this hip into the floor. You should feel it here. If you want a deeper stretch, you raise your left hand if I'm stretching my right hip flexor, and then turn away. If you still don't feel it, you can try putting your foot on a higher platform and continue to drop your weight and you should feel it right here in the groin area. So far in this video we've addressed three areas that we can do to improve our knee pain. The biomechanics, how we jump and how we land. Second part is mobility by reducing the amount of tension in our muscles so our joints can move freely. And the third part is flexibility to make sure that we're limber enough to actually move through all the range of motions that are necessary for sport, especially jumping. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. If you would like me to cover any other topics regarding athletic training, fitness, or volleyball, please leave your suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video.